What's going on, guys? Brian at Two Indians. What? You gonna come out and distract me now? I don't like that. This light is making my face look red. I don't know what to do. I go to clean my glasses and I just made them worse. <laughs> hey guys, see, if I'm gonna record, you can't interrupt me. Okay. All right. <sighs> hey guys, it's Brian at Two Indians. How you doing today? I hope you're doing great. It's after seven o'clock on a Monday evening. I just got home from work and you know, running some errands and stuff like that. I sat down to start editing and I'm like, oh, man, this video is awful. I did a stand up, uh, which is what I'm doing right now, explaining my new Advent Black Tour Pack. And it's just terrible. It was really bad. And I don't know what, Barbara's right over there. Say hi, honey. So anyway, I want to tell you about my Advent Black Tour Pack. Back in November, when I ordered the Challenger, I thought about ordering the Indian Tour Pack or trunk or whatever they call it. I know Harley calls them Tour Packs and Indian I think calls them a trunk. But I didn't want that trunk because it's designed like the old style bikes, like my Springfield. It's got that rounded bubble kind of thing. And you know, my Springfield has the rounded bags and that's cool, I love that, right? But the new bike has all these beautiful angles, man. It's, you know, angular. It's like sharp, it's, it's cool. And that other bag just doesn't fit on it. So anyway, I thought, you know what? I had a feeling that they were gonna come out with a full touring model. They just released the images of the new lowers at that same time when I ordered mine. And I thought, sweet, it's gonna be angular and really sharp edges and cool. And so I thought I'd wait, right? And so a couple months ago, they announced the pursuit. They released all the images and it's got the same trunk as the Roadmaster. I was so disappointed. And I kind of let my feelings be known uh, right away on all the chat forums and you know Facebook and Instagram and stuff. And the people from Advent Black reached out to me and they said, hey, Brian, we've seen your videos. We love your stuff. And we've now got a bracket for the Challenger and we want to hook you up. We want to get this to you, you know, you shoot a review. So this video is sponsored by the folks at Advent Black. So we talked back and forth via Instagram and I said, yeah, I'm looking for this. My bike is this color. And it's really important to point out that Advent Black will color match the trunk to whatever your bike is. And of course they do it with Harley because Harley's got a lot of colors and they've been out for a long time but they didn't have my maroon metallic color for my Challenger. So it took them a little while to get it, but after about six or eight weeks, very shockingly, I walked outside of my front door one day and there were these three giant boxes from Advent Black and I was so happy. They didn't warn me or anything, it just showed up. So uh, naturally, right, what's the first thing you do is you get to work putting it on your bike. <laughs> Oh my God, wait till you see this. This looks so good. I unboxed everything. I set up a little workbench and a little table so I could you know, work at a, a, a comfortable level for an old guy like myself. I even set up a little box for the tour pack to sit on with the brackets so it'd be a little easier to work on. But the reality is, is the pack is big. You know, it's kind of unwieldy. So you just kind of got to really work with it, balance it. You're constantly moving it around. So guys at Advent Black, uh, I got a request to make for all your future owners. Put some instructions in the boxes because I know these are easy and there's really probably only a dozen bolts at the most in the whole kit. No, hang on, uh, four, eight, there are 11 bolts in the kit and put some instructions in there. I know it's super simple, but there were a couple things that I really could have used a little instruction on. Like number one, they give you this plate. Well, I didn't know if the plate was supposed to go on the bottom or on the top. So I had to go to their website, look at a bunch of stuff. And it would just be so much simpler if I could just pick up a piece of paper and see a simple illustration that shows how it goes together. So anyway, that plate goes inside the tour pack. You run some screws through. And then it's that simple to get the pack mounted on the bracket. Now you can get the bracket in chrome or black. And it also came with a luggage rack that you can also get in chrome or black. You also have the option to pick several different backrest types. I picked the lowest profile type because to be honest, uh, Barbara doesn't ride on the back. Uh, she may someday, I hope. <laughs> But since she does it, I figured I'm just gonna get a little basic uh, backrest for it. 
So all in all, I got it in place. Now, what I didn't know is that I needed to get some of these little plastic spools. And you can get them from Advin Black, and I wish they would have suggested that I got them, but uh, I'm suggesting to you either get them from Advin Black, or what I did is I went to the local Indian dealer, and they have those plastic spool sleeves. Uh, they actually gave them to me for free. I think that they're probably a $5 a bag or something like that for all four. But the guy at the parts counter told me that he's got a bunch of them and tossed them at me and said, here you go. So you need to put those in place because the diameter of the brackets needs that extra quarter inch or eighth inch probably actually just to make sure that it seats in place now the bracket is kind of a quick release bracket where you just flip up these little tabs and then you can pick up the entire tour pack off the back of your bike and store it if you don't want to ride it you want to reduce a little bit of weight but they're not quick release in that they latch into place you actually have to put a set screw in place and i don't have any video of that right now but basically what you have to do is you have to latch it in place with the bag off because you can't access the screw hole location with the bag in place. Not a big deal. Normally, if you're gonna put it on your bike for a trip or you're just gonna leave it in place, period. And that's kind of what I've done. Since I put it on the bike, I have not taken it off the bike. It's really super convenient to be able to just open up the back lid and reach into there and grab whatever I want. Now, speaking of using it for storage, some of you might be asking yourselves or asking me, hey Brian, what can you possibly put in that CHOP tour pack? It's so much shorter than the Roadmaster truck. So I figured I'd do a quick little test and figure out what exactly can I fit in there height-wise. I, I think you can figure out the rest of the volume yourself. But I was able to get my three-quarter helmet in there. Trunk closes easily, no problem at all. And then I thought, hey, what if I'm gonna run up to the hardware store and pick up a gallon of paint? Boom fits in there perfectly. What about a six pack cooler? Yes, that will fit in there also. It doesn't matter if it's cans, Gatorade bottle, even a slightly taller water bottle, that will also fit in there. So it is pretty sturdy, it can handle all that weight. I drove around with that stuff in there and it was no problem at all. So all in all, this tour pack, trunk, whatever you wanna call it, gets two thumbs up for me and very happy that I put it on the bike. It's been really convenient to have all that extra storage in there. I love that padding that goes inside there. Uh, it adds a nice touch of class to it. As you can see, I had my seat redone and I also got some red stitching on that and uh, kind of matches a little bit. So all in all, good stuff. Go to the Advin Black website. Check out all the great products that they have. So thanks for watching guys. We really appreciate it. I think it's gonna be that simple. Two Indians, I'm done, I'm out of here. Peace, see ya. What did I forget to talk about? But wait, there's more. Hey, before we get to the bonus material, I wanted to tell you guys that you should go check out the Advin Black website and go look at these tour packs. If you get there, just go up in the left-hand corner and you'll see where it says Harley Parts. Just scroll down in that section and down at the bottom, you'll see where it says Indian Parts. Click on that and that'll take you to a page where you see the Razor, the Chopped, and the Full Size Tour Pack. Uh, once you pick the one that you like, you can select what type of pads you want or backrests you want for the passenger. And then you can pick all the other options like whether you want a chrome or black bracket or whether you want the padding on the inside, which I highly recommend. And you can also choose the luggage rack and get the spools and all the other stuff. So make sure you check that out. Now, I will tell you that after I put everything together, I started thinking, you know what? I may not want to ride around with the luggage rack on the back of my bike all the time. So I thought, you know, I'll just take it off. But that would leave four holes in the top of my tour pack. And clearly it's not going to be waterproof if that happens. So I decided to run up to Ace Hardware to see if I could find some little rubber plugs or grommets. I didn't get any video of me removing the luggage rack there, but they didn't have anything for me anyway. Next option was Home Depot. I wonder if there's any other place I should be going. Mm. I can't think of anything. But it's good to have options.
fastener aisle. Hardware. I look like a double fool. I'm wearing a helmet and carrying a camera inside a store. Screw covers. Ah, see, this is what I'm looking for. Something like this. No, those are washers. Total whiff. Total strikeout. You know, I bought the luggage rack because I wanted to obviously have a place to put shit, but um, I wanted to take it off because I thought, well, if I'm not traveling, uh, you know, might as well make the bike look a little sleeker or something like that. But quite honestly, I don't think it looks that bad with the rack on it. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. So I was just gonna put the luggage rack back on and do a shot from over here. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> when I took the luggage rack off over at Ace, the little black rubber feet must have fallen off because they are not in my bag. <laughs> so now I gotta go all the way back over to Ace and start scrounging around on the ground there because it's not here. Damn it. This is why Barbara shakes her head at me and just wonders how I even get dressed in the morning. <laughs> My lucky bingo. <laughs> so, in the end, I couldn't find anything to fill those holes, but I got on Amazon and I find this multi pack of different little, you know, rubber filler or plastic fillers, whatever, that I think would work out perfect for that. So, right now, we're just going to try and see if we can make that work. All right, let's do that. All right. Well, that's what the hole looks like. I measured it before and it's a 5 16 hole. So um, I went online and I bought some, um, you know, some little plastic grommet. Come on, focus, focus. That's what Barbara always tells me. Focus, Brian, focus. I got these little plastic grommets. It says it fills a 5 16 hole. You never know till you try. So let's try together. That one's too small. This one, I know it's going to be the exact right size. Look at that. Here we go, the big test. <laughs> Damn it. No! Oh! It's too big. It will not go in the hole. Arrgh! Not happy. Sometimes you just want stuff to work the first time. This is not gonna work. Now I have to order something else. I mean, I could modify this a little bit and put some silicone on it and stick it on there, but I, I don't wanna do that. I guess the big question is, will I ever be able to find the right size grommet to fill these holes? Tune in next time to Two Indians and find out.